Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome boys and girls to our primary Sabbath school class. Our lesson for this week is entitled Fire on the Mountain. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for allowing us to come together one more time to study stories of the Bible and to learn more about you, your love for us, and your son, Jesus Christ. I ask that you increase our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of you this day. In your son's name, we do pray, amen. Fire on the mountain. And our memory text comes from Psalms 4, verse 3. That's Psalms 4, verse 3. And it reads, the Lord hears when I call to him. Let's read that together, boys and girls. Psalms 4, verse 3. The Lord hears when I call to him. And that's very important, boys and girls, because the Lord is our friend. And just like we can talk with our friend that we see every day, we can talk to Jesus like that too, right? So when we call on him, he listens because he cares so much for us. And so whenever you're in trouble, whenever you have something to say, whenever you want to speak to your friend Jesus, just pray because the Lord hears when we call to him. Our um, song for today um, is entitled, The Lord Hears Me, right? So I want you to reflect on the words um, as Emily sings. I think her name is Emily. Yes. Um, as she sings the song, The Lord Hears Me. Right to show God's power is right the Lord is Let's dig deep into our lesson for this week. Obadiah is running down the path. His rope flaps behind him. Elijah is here. Elijah is here, he gasps. King Ahab's face turns red with anger. Elijah is just the man he is looking for. It hasn't rained in Israel for three long years. There is little food to eat, and the king thinks it is all Elijah's fault. The king hurries to meet Elijah. There you are, Israel's troublemaker, he shouts. Elijah stands tall and unafraid. I have not made trouble for Israel, he responds. You are the troublemaker. You and your family, you worship Baal's idols instead of the Lord. 
bring all the people of Israel and all the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel, Elijah says. There we will see which is the true God, Baal or the Lord. So King Ahab calls all the people and all the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel. Elijah stands before the people. The prophets of Baal will sacrifice a bull, he says. They will put it on top of the wood on their altar, but not set fire to it. I will sacrifice a bull too and put it on top of the wood on my altar. I will not set fire to it either. The prophets of Baal will call on the name of their God. I will call on the name of the Lord, the one who answers by setting the wood on fire is the true God. All the people agree that this will be a fair test. Elijah looks at the 450 prophets of Baal. You may go first, he says. Baal's prophets sacrifice their bull and lay it on their altar. Then they begin to pray. They call and shout to Baal all morning. But guess what, boys and girls? There is no answer. The prophets begin to dance wildly. Then they cut themselves with knives and swords to get Baal's attention. But there is still no answer. In the evening, Elijah says, now it's my turn. First, he repairs the altar and puts wood on it. Then he digs a ditch around it. He sacrifices his bull and puts it on top of the wood. Fill four large jars with water and pour them over the offering in the wood, he says. One, two, three, four jars. The people hurry to do so. Do the same thing again, Elijah says. They do it again. They pour more water over the altar. Do it a third time, Elijah orders. And guess what, boys and girls? They did it a third time. They poured water all over the altar. They do as he says. Water runs all over the altar and overflows the ditch. Then Elijah bows his head and prays, Oh Lord, prove today that you are the God of Israel. Instantly, fire flashes down from heaven. It burns up the bull. It burns up the wood. It even burns up the stones of the altar and the water in the ditch. The people of Israel, they fall down on their faces and cry out, the Lord is God. The Lord is God. So boys and girls, what does this story tell, what does this story tell us about our God? It tells us that he is powerful. He is the greatest. He listens and he answers prayer. When you pray, boys and girls, are you just as sure as Elijah that God will answer your prayer? Hopefully so. If not, we can always ask Jesus to increase our faith. So our message for today, boys and girls, and I want us to say it together, is God listens and answers when I pray. How do you feel knowing that, that God listens and answers when you pray? I hope that makes you feel all warm inside, that you have a friend and that you can talk to that friend anytime you want to, and he will listen and he will answer. All right, let's pray. Father in heaven, you're wonderful. You're awesome, and we just want to thank you 
We thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for answering our prayers. And we may not always get the answer that we want right away, but we know that you know what's best for us. So we ask you to continue to be with us and our families, be with those who are sick among us, be with those who have lost loved ones. And I pray that you may surround them with your loving care and help them know that you are ever near and dear to them. Forgive us for all of our sins, Father, and save us into your kingdom. In your son's name we do pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, it was nice spending this time with you. I want you to keep growing. I want you to keep learning more about God. I want you to keep worshiping him and obeying his word. And don't forget, you can always pray to God and he will listen. Until next time, goodbye.